Thank you. Molly Scott Cato for the Greens. If I could, I'd like to start by addressing the point made by Professor Van Beegel about um, different types of tax and whether deciding not to smoke was actually avoiding tax, because obviously I'm supportive of some strategic taxes such as the energy tax, which is de deliberately intended to, to change behaviour. But I would suggest that there are different taxes, and there's taxes that are different in type, which is to say taxes that are intended to bring about redistribution, and it's those taxes that are being avoided, and that's what's of concern, I think, to, to this committee, and certainly to myself. Uh, but my main questions concern the issue that was raised by Ms McCormick from KPMG, and that's the issue of tax havens. And as, as you've pointed out, defining precisely what we mean by a tax haven and developing a map of those tax havens and their, their interconnections is something that is one of the key tasks, I think, of this committee. And we're interested in, in these particular jurisdictions, both within the EU and outside the member states, but also those that have a sort of ambivalent relationship with the member states and our sort of overseas dependencies of, of some of our countries. Um, and a lot of these jurisdictions clearly derive a great deal of their income from tax-related activities. So we're aware of some of the key players in this network, and I'd like to question you about your activities in those, in those jurisdictions. So perhaps my first question could be whether you could identify key tax havens. I think we've got a selection of, of British um, experts and one Dutch expert here. So perhaps you could let us know what you think of as the key tax havens in UK and Dutch overseas territories. I mean, I, I think there's, there's something like 60 to 80 um, small islands and other bits of land that we're interested in here, but I'm just going to focus on three now to ask you my specific questions, and those are Hong Kong, Jersey, and the Cayman Islands. So perhaps you could tell me for each of those jurisdictions I've identified, what is your physical presence there in terms of offices and other infrastructure and how many people work there? Could you give me details of the services you provide in each of those jurisdictions and let me know what your annual turnover is? And can you explain precisely why these services are better provided there than, say, in Brussels or in London? I realise that these are quite detailed questions, so I'd welcome the best answers you can give me now and perhaps then follow up in writing. And finally, as a more general question, could you tell me in your judgment whether the world's multinational corporations would use these tax havens if your, if your organisations were not present there? And do you feel that this means you are colluding in the tax abuse that takes place there? Thank you. 